Hey everyone, so last class we did two point perspective shapes. Now we're gonna get into something a little more complicated. You're still gonna be doing that basic shape, but this time around you're going to be doing it with cutouts, okay? So essentially holes within your shape. Now I want to have you do at least one cut out on one side of the shape and on the other side of the shape. So a total of at least two cutouts. All right, oops. Um, so at least two cutouts. Now, if you wanna do more, I did three, obviously you could do more. This step kind of went ahead a little bit on how to do it. Um, I did the sides here as opposed to the original one where we just did the lines going down. If you end up skipping this step altogether, I want you to show me two of these though at least. And if you end up doing one and trying it out on here and messing up, crossing it out and doing it on the next one, you could do that as well. So almost using this as like if you were doing a math um, test and you need to show your work, even if it's, um, and you're being partially graded on showing your work, even if the end result isn't perfect, I can see then that you took the proper steps to do it. Um, kind of think of it in terms of that, that I want you to show my work. Now, that being said, I am going to grade you on the accuracy of how these are, okay? And really, I'm looking at the finished product at the bottom being accurate. Of course, look at the rubric on exactly how I'm grading you on this. So what I'm going to do is again, starting out with this sheet. If you don't have the ability to print out the sheet, then you can divide your sketch paper again into three sections. All right, now I'm going to start with, and I'm gonna make sure that I make this time around the shape long enough where is you're gonna have enough space to do cutouts. All right, let me pull this down a little here. I know sometimes my artwork goes off the screen a little and I don't discover it until after I've made the whole video. So I'm doing my best to keep this all very clearly on screen. All right, again, drawing to your vanishing points, which are the top corners. Matching your ruler with the corner of your box or the edge of that line you created. Bringing it up. And don't worry about on this first try drawing super light because you're not gonna erase it here. This is more, like I said, practice, refreshing your memory on how to draw the shape. Okay, and then make the shape a long enough rectangle, at least on one of the sides where you have enough space to do cutouts, either one big cutout or if you wanna challenge yourself and do multiple cutouts. All right, so that would sort of be the first step. And I'll actually take it a step further and remember you want to, yep. Yep. In truth, it'd probably be better to also have a smaller ruler, but this is the size that I have. Okay, so now I have that 3D shape here. And if, for instance, I erased it, I'm just gonna kind of so we can all clearly recognize the shape. Now you have to use a straight edge for this. Even just look by me sketching over here, it kind of messed up the edge. Has to be a straight edge. If you don't have a ruler, then you need to use some other straight edge. For instance, I have this lovely little bookmark, which is actually smaller. Might do the trick a little bit better for me. Okay, there we go. Now I, I 
when you erase over here, just be careful when erasing that area. You can see it gets a little funky there. All right, so now we have the basic shape. So the next step would be the cutouts. So I'm going to seeing that that line might have been originally drawn a little crooked. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this is long enough. Yep, it is. Perfect. Of course, now I'm staring at a hologram while drawing. All right, now I need to, again, make sure you're matching up with the vanishing point. Do not go draw. When I grade these, I'm looking at how accurate you are with drawing to the vanishing point. And it's quite simple as far as just matching your ruler or straight edge to the vanishing point here. Remember we said these corners, the vanishing points, and to the end of your shape. Now, I'm not drawing it all the way to there because I'm gonna actually start doing the cutouts here, so I don't necessarily need the whole thing drawn. And I actually made them the same size. They're both the width of this. All right, now, nope, oh, a little too short. I'm going to match this up, that corner. There, and this corner. There. Okay. I'll erase the lines. And again, this isn't necessarily your finished product, so if the lines aren't erased perfect, it's the bottom one we really, I wanna see that you really do it precisely with the shading and the cutouts. All right, so the cutouts are a little confusing. This may be a little bit of a trial and error kind of thing. So, Notice how the cutouts, both the top and bottom of the cutouts run parallel to these sides that are going to the vanishing point. So, Now, for this one, I actually made the heights of them different. They're all the same on the bottom, but this one's taller. Then I did another line shorter. Then I did another line shorter. The demo I'm showing you, I'm making it all the same height. Let's go in like that. Around like that. Right about there. And again, you want it to run parallel to the shape itself. Okay. Now this part is actually simpler than it seems. This corner is going to go to this vanishing point because the inside edge of this runs parallel to this and this, which will all go to that vanishing point. So you're essentially going to the opposite vanishing point from the side of the box you're on. And that's it. Now for this one, you would be, you'll do it in the other opposite direction. So actually let's make a couple of boxes here. And I'm gonna make this one shorter. And then I'll make them both the same on the bottom. Now, a line going across here. Going across here. Or not across, I should say, sorry, down. Not across, down. Going down vertically here. And vertically here. Now you're gonna have extra lines you don't need. This little spot here, this line, there, 
this line. All right. Now, if you want to, I, I do actually recommend even considering leaving some of the lines on this one just so you can see them before you do your final. So you can kind of still visualize before you do your final looking at that as a reference. All right. And then I'm going to need my big ruler again. This corner inside corner runs parallel to this and this and they're all I'm sorry no it's the opposite what am I saying it runs parallel to this <laughs> my mistake my mistake say even I get confused you're doing the opposite of those other two lines so what that means is let me show you this and this go to that vanishing point right here and here. This inside then goes to the opposite vanishing point. Say, I'm even confusing myself. So these two lines go here and here. So this corner goes here because it runs parallel to these lines on this side because it's on the inside of the box. My mistake. All right. So there, now I have the inside cutouts. Now, I'm gonna do it again one more time here and I'll go over the shading as well. But I'm gonna do it quick. I should have music on in the background. You can hear a squeaking noise from my neighbor who is always on the swing outside. Literally 24 seven. She loves her swing. Oops, say I didn't even bring that up for enough. There we go. Okay. Again, still notice I'm connecting it to the vanishing point there. Now you are gonna be shading this. The shading's gonna be a little trickier because you're also going to be shading the inside of your box. All right. I only did two cutouts here, so I made it a little simpler when I shade. Okay. 
shading. So first I'm gonna do every top surface light. So the top surface here, but there's other top surfaces. Let me do the whole thing. And again, make it neat. I'm doing this quick as to show you. All right, these two have top surfaces. Light, 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 light. So this whole thing. would be light and that would be light. Then we're doing the medium. So I did for this one, this side medium. So anything facing this direction, medium. Medium. Now there's another spot I'd do medium. This surface, because it's the left side of this, just like this is the left side of the entire box. Medium as well, and not to cause any confusion, this would be the lighter part. Okay, and then we have the darkest section. The darkest section would be the right side. Again, be careful with smudging your hand on it. But then the inside of this also has a right side. So the cutouts have multiple sections facing multiple directions. And because the cutouts are on two different sides of the box, they have different sec different parts shaded in. So they both have a bottom on the insides of the cutouts. So they both have that light part, but one cutout's on the left side of the box, one's on the right side of the box. So the one on the right side of the box is medium because this is actually, if we were looking at this shape here, this is the left side of this shape. If we're looking at the whole shape, this is the left side of this shape. So it's shaded the same way. When we're looking at this whole shape, this dark part is the right side of this shape. Same thing here. If we're looking at this as a separate shape, the right side of this is here. Now, if you even wanna try shading this in, drawing the whole thing, shading it as a test, and then again, you want this to be the final piece that you understand to be correct. So if you make some mistakes on this, I'd rather see your thought process of, as far as how you got there. All right, so that is how we do the cutouts. You're drawing it to the vanishing points, drawing the cutouts to the vanishing points with the inside part corner going to the opposite direction and then erasing it all all the lines going to the vanishing points that are not part of the structure, and then shading it using value. Bye everyone.